a youth, as a women, and as a people to take our destinies in our hands. Sir, please, you are going to ask two more questions. I have only two questions I want to ask these questions. Women and youths, civil societies, are calling on the Abelo. Come to this The time is now right for you to answer them. Sir, what is your response to that, sir? We have the task of mobilizing women, youth, disabled, all Nigerians to come and join the All Progressive Congress. Please join me and let's make a great our party. <laughs> In your reply, you do not really expatriate. We know that as of today, there is the only state that has women in, in the in positions of uh, leadership in all local governments. And Kogi State is currently the model for uh, women and youth participation. Some have said that the next election is going to be an election for women and youth. Now the APC has mandated you who led that charge in Kogi State. Do we presume that the APC is beyond just calling women and youth to come and register to be part of the party, party and chain? Do we presume that the APC is pointing the direction that indeed the next election is going to be all about women and youth? Thank you very much. You have simply asked a question and provided the answer. You see, in APC, in all progressive congress, we practice what we preach, we preach what we practice. I will use myself as an example in Kogi State. Kogi State, I belong to that class of young men and youths of this country. And in Kogi State, you can see all my lieutenants and government officials are basically youth, young and who are performing excellently well within the limited resources and challenges that are facing us as a state. And you could see that it is from Kogi State that you can see women participating actively in governance across board. So that experience is what we are translating to the nation, to every nook and crannies of the country. And like I said, Mr. President promised that next generation should get themselves ready to take leadership. And he has provided that opportunity. That is exactly what you are practicing here, what you are doing. And that is why I have been charged with that responsibility to move and then mobilize women, youth, and less, and, uh, less privileged into our party so that tomorrow we will have a voice, so that tomorrow we can determine what becomes of this country. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.